Welcome to sunny Winter Haven, Florida. I'm Lane Dog Bowers, and I want you to realize that you are greatly blessed, highly favored, and deeply loved. And today, I'm kind of continuing on this theme of why you can expect a miracle today in your life. No matter what your circumstances are, no matter how bad it is, no matter what you're tangled up in, no matter where you are in your life, you can expect a miracle, but it's based on God's Word. It's based on foundational truths on which I want to continue on. And again, I encourage you guys to get this book by Joseph Prince, The Power of Right Believing. I'm just absolutely pumped. I can't stop reading it. I'm on my second read. And I'm just going to continue making these videos and sharing with you the transforming power of God's Word and why this could possibly be the best day ever and the forecast for tomorrow is a million and six percent better. That sounds like positive thinking mumbo jumbo or something that has no basis in reality, but that can be your reality. It's not based on positive thinking, self-help, or anything like that. It's based on the foundational truth of God's Word. And I want to share with you a story that I read uh, that just was very powerful about a, uh, uh, a pastor in Oregon, I think it was, believe, I believe, uh, and uh, he was assigned a minister to people in a mental institution. And when he went into this mental institution, he went into this padded room where these people were pretty much comatose. No one would talk to them. No one would communicate with them. They were just like grunts and groans and even, as he put it, some demonic laughter in there. But absolutely, like, he was stumped at how he was going to minister to these people. But he was led by the Holy Spirit, just through a thought and inward witness, to sit down in the middle of the room. And he just started singing this very simple hymn that I guarantee that you probably heard. And I'm not going to try and sing it because I'm not a great singer. But the words are, Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak. But he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. And it's interesting because in this story, he tells about at the end of the first day, nothing happened. But he continued this for weeks. And I believe it was at the end of, I want to say, three weeks that these absolutely hopeless people who originally, and I didn't mention in the beginning, were literally, it stunk of human excrement in there. It was, I mean, just a vile, hopeless place where these people are just, I don't know what, waiting to die. They're getting drugged. They're doing different things to them. I don't know what they were doing, but there was no hope. But this simple little children's song that most Christians know, he sang over and over again with more and more conviction until people started joining in and singing with them. And I believe, if I'm correct, that at the end of the story, I believe it was out of 30 people, I want to say 26 people were moved out of that care into a different care and then later on released. So, I mean, that is an amazing story. What is it based on? Is it based on singing? No. Is it based on positive thinking, self-help? No. Is it based on medication or doctor's care? No. It's based on the simple truth that I want us to get foundationally established on, that Jesus loves you. It doesn't matter what your circumstances are telling you right now. It doesn't matter what your bank account is telling you right now. It doesn't matter what your what is going on in your life. That does not determine whether Jesus loves you or not. What determines that Jesus loves you is God's Word. It's so powerful and it can change your life. And even though, like I say, I am not a preacher, I'm a businessman, but I started doing these videos because I believe with all my heart that when businessmen, and you know, I'm a stay-at-home business guy, when, bi when people who either want to start a business or base their current business on the truth, the foundational truths of God's Word, I believe that's the greatest foundation that you can do it on. Now, I want to read you because 
this is just I love I, I'm gonna read this right right to you straight from Joseph Prince. It's, it's on page 35 it's God's love for you is unconditional that's what I want to get through to you that's the foundation upon why you can expect a miracle it seems so trivial it's not Right now, regardless of the challenges you may be going through, I want to encourage you to see yourself walking under an open heaven surrounded by His unmerited favor. Expect good things in your future. Believe in His love for you. Believe with all your heart that you are the apple of His eye and the delight of His heart. Believe that you are highly favored, greatly blessed, and deeply loved. Sounds like what I've been saying for a long time here. God's love for you is unconditional. It's a love that's so pure, pristine, and marvelous. It has nothing to do with your performance, but everything to do with who you are in God's eyes. His, uh, uh, his beloved. You, in God's eyes, you are His beloved because of Jesus' finished work. The emphasis on the old covenant that so many people who are, are afraid to go to church now is on what you do. Everything back then was what you do. You must do this. You must do. Here's the laws. Here's what you must do. The emphasis in the new covenant is based on God's unconditional love and the fact of what Jesus has done for you. There's nothing you can do to earn God's love, and there's nothing you can do once you're in it. You're a prisoner of hope. There's nothing you can do that'll separate you from God's love. And you know what? I had this inspiration. I was walking out. These are bougainvillea. I'm glad they're not attacking me right now. But this plant, it, it, I just kind of got inspired because it's, it's very beautiful. But these have very sharp and dangerous thorns. And I saw this color purple, and in the Bible, purple represents the majesty and royalty of Jesus. You know, he's altogether lovely. He's manhood and deity. He is, you know, a servant and our king. You know, it's just it's an amazing. And the thorns represent in the Bible curses. Jesus took all the curses. He wore a crown of thorns so that you could be crowned with glory and honor because of Him, not because of what you do. It's only in the revelation of this that you can run to God when you screw up, not run away from God. Run to Him. Talk to Him about your problems. Picture yourself and use your imagination to see how much God loves you, not based on what you're doing or what you're in right now, but based on what Jesus did for you at the cross. I hope this gets you inspired. I hope that you spend every day, you know what, for right now, just try singing that song to yourself every day for a little bit and watch how that makes you feel. I believe that God will work miracles in your life, not based on what you do, but based on what He does when you focus on His love for you. God bless you today. I am expecting a miracle for you.